part 11 of Ocarina Time, and this part will be finishing off the Donald's Cavern. Now, in between parts, we finally had a chance to look at what that Emmy name was, yes. and I don't know why I ever doubted myself they wore Armos. Yeah. Statues, or just Armos. We have a lot of reasons to doubt ourselves. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> the beer's the first one. The beer is the first, and we're not always the most prepared people yeah. in the world, so doubting ourselves, is there's nothing wrong with that. Now, also, another thing I want to say is, and sorry if we kind of screwed you over by not mentioning this in the first part, but you definitely want to take your DQ shield off yes. during this dungeon because I don't think we're in the fire keys uh, yet, but we'll run we into them later on, and you can lose your DQ shield in this dungeon. So and that's just annoying. It's just a lot better idea to go through it with your Hylian shield. Well, the only time I think now that you ever want to use your Deku shield is if you run into business scrubs. Yeah, because you shoot the nuts back at them. Uh -huh. Yeah, but for any other purpose, I think the Hylian shield is, is going to be the yeah. way to go. I mean, you don't see us walk around with wooden shoes on, so no. don't walk around <laughs> with a wooden shield, okay? That wood and fire do not mix. No. We Unless spoke, you're trying to heal your body, which we're not trying to do yeah. right now. <laughs> we spoke earlier about like the look of the stone walls in here, but how about like this looks almost like a, a rib cage? Yes, or uh -huh. something or, 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 a, a spine. I was about to say vertebrae, but it does not look like a vertebrae. Yeah, but like a, a, a rib just, cage. I'm, I'm good with the rib cage. It was just a really cool effect again to just add to this cavern uh -huh, that yes, we're uh -huh. in. And then right here will actually begin the dungeon item. And yep. Red and I are not a huge fan of this dungeon item. I guess not really. We'll kind of just wait a little while until we finally see what it yeah. is. <laughs> but um, we um thought like you got the Goron bracelet from uh what's his name Darunia. Darunia. Like we wish we like it kind of seemed pointless that like you get a bracelet to throw bombs and then half a not, dungeon like, yeah later. like like you know like uh, basically half an hour later in gameplay yeah you get um if, if you're as good yeah as us <laughs> you get like a bomb bag like I would rather got the bomb bag from Darunia and Me got too. a whole new item in this dungeon it just didn't make it did seem like a waste like uh -huh. it was an opportunity to get another item here in the dungeon that they could have used somehow I don't know what off yeah. the top of my head but it just seems like a waste of the Goron bracelet I just think bag upgrades in dungeons. Like, we don't give them a lot, but just, I don't know, just, there's so many things that they could have done now. Yeah. I don't know what they could have done for this dungeon, like... You could have found something. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, it could have added, like, a new concept or a new mechanic, yeah. but... I will say, I loved, though, the concept here of, like, blowing up his eyes mm -hmm. to open the mouth to let us get deeper into the dungeon. I thought it was just a very cool visual. I love the clue they gave us earlier on that little slab. Yeah. Like, I just, once again, like, Nintendo is just really good with words. It just, yeah. I thought that's a really cool clue. It was. It's just, like, yeah, light it, or... The, and I don't say much about reading. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, when he sees red, the path will open or whatever. So, I think just, what, with all, really cool. With all the bones you were talking about earlier, this room right here is really where it yes. stands out. Just like, you know, the whole top, like a ceiling and everything. And yeah. then, like, you know what? I really like the mouth right there and, like, walking in. Like, okay, yeah. you blow that up. You saw us blow that up. But then you go through there, and then you go to the second part of the dungeon. Yeah. It's a cool little, I don't know, effect. And just seeing, like, the rows of teeth on the mouth uh -huh. and everything, too. Just little touches like that. It just really added to it. I think when I originally came in here for the first time, like, you know, you, you obviously see that head. But I never, the first time playing, I never thought I was actually going to go through that oh, head no. and go farther into the dungeon. Not at all. Now, being further into the dungeon, you'll notice we're pretty much kind of done with, like, lava uh -huh. for the time being. And now it does feel like we're in a, a separate like part the cavern. of the It feels like we're in the cavern part. Yeah. Like, you know, like, I don't know where the whole lava and fire fits in the name. Um, uh, well, we are kind somewhere. of... We are kind of in Death Mountain. Well, we there. already... Okay, that's, <laughs> okay, that's a very good point, actually. But yeah, it just feels like now it's a separate, distinct and part Death of Mountain the Death Mountain is an active volcano. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah. Now, this room right here, I mean... Ugh, it's I just, tedious. Yeah, like... I just... Uh, I don't mind block... Well, this isn't really a block puzzle. No. But I don't mind when you have to push blocks in Zelda. I yeah. mind when you have to push them, like, a far away. Like, you know, it's not just a couple spaces. It's, yeah. like, across the whole room. And it takes forever. I know earlier we talked about how slow you climb on things. Uh -huh. It's just as bad when you're pushing blocks. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and we've gone to the part of the dungeon now when we're talking about pushing blocks. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, it's... I mean, it's kind of... It's sort of hard commentating this dungeon as we've gone through right here. Like, there's not really a lot going on, but I guess for some reason we still like it. We do, I and mean, just the concepts are good. There's yes, some, agreed. We, we have complained about a few things. Yeah. Especially after we, we said We complained about quite a bit, yeah. actually, for like, in, I think in the uh, original, um, in our original Ocarina of Time dungeon ranking, I yeah. say that because we're actually going to do a different one. For this one, but I think three, we ranked, yes, uh, yeah. by the way, that's one way right there to get a gold spatula, <laughs> right? Just flip into the wall and bounce back. Hey, whatever works. But anyways, I think we ranked that fourth. I think we did. In our Ocarina of Time dungeon ranking. Yep. So 
it's it's fun overall concepts. Uh-huh. When you get down into the nuts and bolts of it, it does kind of bog down a little bit. And you always kind of like fire dungeons. Yeah. And this, I mean, it's Stupid not like a straight. Piece. Yeah, I hate those things. <laughs> it's not like a straight fire dungeon. Yeah. but you know, you got the lava. It's got, it's got elements of fire. Yeah. So now I really hate, and we kind of hinted at this uh, a, a few minutes ago. But when we come back into this room and those blocks reset, mm-hmm. and we have to push them again. Yeah, uh-huh. I can get ready with it right there. Like come back out and the blocks are. The same exact same position, yeah. and the fire keys are back as well, yeah, to get you. <laughs> you know what? Let's be positive the rest of this dungeon now. We're just sitting here, we're bashing on it, yeah, but we like it. But we like it, blah blah blah. But, but we, we like, like it. it. <laughs> we are uh, almost to the boss, though. We're like women, I know, <laughs> <laughs> but I love we, it. But yes, but we love we love you, women. We love you, but we do. We do. <laughs> Sometimes y'all complain about stuff that you. Yep. Don't mind or you say you like or anything. Yeah, see, this is the stuff. I'm bashing on Dongo's Cavern. I'm bashing on women. My <laughs> God. What, what? Did you have a bad day at work? I guess I had a bad day. Because <laughs> I love women and I love the Dongo's Cavern. Hey, you're off work now till New Year's. That's what it is, man. I'm just, I'm in a whole different zone. I'm on vacation. Hicks right had now. too much beer already celebrating. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not really. Not really. Well, every woman just clicked off of this video That's about true. 30 seconds ago. So, Well, the good news is, like I said, we're almost to the boss, which I really love. Uh-huh. We'll get a little bit more into him once we get we're there. Getting, we're, getting, we're still pushing blocks. Yeah, we're still pushing blocks. <laughs> I do love how this is something you'll see in every dungeon in the game, I believe. Right before the boss fight, there's almost always going to be a fairy. Like a yes, boss uh-huh. with a fairy. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that continues all the way through every dungeon in the game. And we already have two balls, too, so go ahead and get that fairy right exactly. there. Exactly. You know what? I kind of like how you saw we entered that tunnel right there. I guess I'd be on our left right now. Yeah. We entered that tunnel, and we kind of circled up, like a, like a kind of like a circle we ramp. Kind of like a circle ramp going all the way up yeah. to the part where the block was we pushed out. So kind of just like a cool, I don't know, yeah. half circle ramp of rooms to get up to where we need to be. If you get to, to eventually get to back to the exact same place, basically. And we had to get this block to drop and hit the switch uh-huh. to open the door that does lead to the boss. Now that switch, I, I never actually looked in there. Like, is that just a regular switch that we I'm stand sure. on? I bet it's one that you stand on, but as soon as you get out of that hole, like it goes back. Oh, yeah, and like it's, the uh, well, door is barred again. Can you even get out of that hole once you jump I, down? I didn't try it. I, didn't. <laughs> I, I don't have a clue. I'm just kind of basing it on like, something I didn't really do. <laughs> you're going to starve to death. You fell in a hole and you don't have the hook shot yet to get back <laughs> yeah. out of it. So Hopefully we can cl- uh, climb up that little hole right I would there. Hope. I would hope. I liked the approach to uh, the agree. boss, like jumping down the hole to face him. And we'll have that a couple more times in this game, actually. We do. We do. Um, yeah, at you- least twice more, I think. Uh, yeah, question? sure. Um, I'm not really counting. But anyways, <laughs> King the Dongle that we see right here, really the first time in a Zelda game, and I'm talking about when this game first came out, yeah, yeah. that you get the feeling of just a gigantic looking boss. It really is. And he does just look massive and intimidating, uh-huh. even though he does turn out to be actually a very simple boss it, to beat. Yeah, he is a very simple boss. It's still only the second boss yeah. in the game. But like, you know, go more... Like, before this, we just had the NES Zeldas in Link to the Past. Yeah. None of those bosses you could really make big because they were in small rooms. Limitations. And then yeah. Goma was, you know, kind of big. Yeah. But then you get this huge dinosaur. And like you said, Loved it. it was really easy, but, you know, it was fun throwing bombs in the mouth. It I mean, was. you all, that, that could not be beat. That and him, like, rolling from, like, wall to wall, just bounce off of him, yeah. not, not caring if he hurts himself. Exactly. <laughs> He's, he just wants to crush you. Now, I want to take it back. It can be beaten by other, all the other bosses that we rank high. Higher, but yeah. what I was trying to say is just throwing bombs in the mouth is kind of just cool. And it was. It was a different concept. And you see right there, three jump attacks. I mean, yeah. Like, bam, right there, the boss is over. So I don't really know how they could have made it any harder. But no. I like how they have him roll into the lava at the end to I die. Agree. I think that's a, a neat, like, he falls in. At, maybe he should have had a big lava pit in his, yeah. in his lair. But well, you would think it's a dog. <laughs> you would think he'd be okay in lava. You would think. So... But his his whole insides right now are done. Yep. Yeah. He has no digestive system left. Yep. It's not just his insides now that are uh, that are gone. Yes, his, sure. whole, his whole body. <laughs> his whole body's done now. Really, he is done for. But now that we've beat King Dodongo, we've beat Dodongo's Cavern. This will go ahead and wrap up part eleven of Ocarina of Time 3D.